What do you say, guys? Should the knife roll? Welcome back, guys. Out here with my dog, just shooting a video, doing a small knife test slash review, if you want to call it that. So the knife we're going to take a look at, guys, today is the Swamp Romper, and yeah, I have been through this knife a bit. You have already checked out if you have looked at the unboxing video. The usual test I do with the knives, some light batoning, fire making, feather making, whatever. The thing I need when I'm out here doing a small fire for cooking my food or just keeping warm. It's winter time now. As you see, we have a bit snow, not so much. But hopefully we're going to get some more snow so I can do some more winter stuff. So let's get into this video guys. If you want to check it out, don't go away. So I brought with me some drier firewood just to make this process a bit easier for me today. I'm out with Rambo. It's just 10 months, so just a puppy and he's pretty crazy. <laughs> this one romper is pretty thin. So and this ground is pretty soft. <laughs> As I told you, it's pretty soft, all rotten here, so not so good as using as a base for batoning. So obviously, it's a full tang knife, batoning something smaller like this, it's no problem. But it's not the greatest baton. batoner, I can tell you this, you don't want to baton so thick pieces with this. So obviously this knife is a pretty good slicer because of the profile and making feathers with it it's pretty easy. I haven't done anything with the edge it's as it came and it came really sharp. Check the spine. Mine seems to be sufficient enough. It's a great spine, 90 degree spine, no problem. A bit thicker pieces for the fire. Not going to make anything big because just out here doing a small demonstration of this knife. Well, as you can see, you can get pretty nice feathers with a knife, obviously. Hey, hey. 
to use some fast food today. Nej, 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 nej. So there we go guys. Some fire making. Rambo, kom hit. Ja, kubben. Så, här vi går, guys. The Swamp Romper. Lugn, lugn. Today, guys, wasn't about how to make a fire or survival skill, nothing like that. So that's why I cheated. I had my own wood. My fat wood and everything. So there we go guys, a small mini test review, what do you want to call it, of the Swamp Romper. Just batoning real light uh, and making a small old fire for demonstration. Rambo, Rambo, eh eh. And yeah, just a walk here out in the forest with my dog Rambo, Hello Rambo as I call him here in Sweden. Uh, ten month old English Springer Spaniel. The Swamp Romper, okay. It's a really thin knife, really good slicing capability. 1075, soft steel. And I can see it now. The thing you saw me do, that was it. Uh, pretty much it. Uh, I did it baton as much, just smaller pieces, doing some small feather sticks and nothing. I don't think I hit anything hard because I had wood, frozen wood and frozen wood that was rotten. But I will show you the edge. I don't know if you can see it. It has rolled. So we do have some minor edge problems the edge has rolled nothing I can't fix but as I told you not doing so much with this knife very light tasks and the edge rolled so there we go guys as I tried to show you there I don't know how much you did see but it has rolled on one, two, three, four places, what I can see right now. I'm a bit disappointed of how easy it rolled. I do have the other, the, for example, the bush lore, and that's really great. Hasn't, I have done <laughs> 10 times as hard a job with that knife than with this knife and never had an edge problem. Otherwise, it's a real, good slicer for food prep and I really like the sheath dangler style so actually this sheath I have taken to my bush lore because I do like that knife better yeah what more can I say it rolled a bit too easy for my taste what, what do you think guys maybe I did something wrong using the knife you shouldn't baton <laughs> okay Every knife I get, 
I do the same treatment, the same abuse, and yeah, so it's no exception on this knife. I wouldn't go easy on this. I did go easy on this because the wood I brought was really <laughs> small and easy to baton through, so I don't really know where the problem was. I think I hit one knot, or one knot, and there it was a bit harder. Maybe that was the problem, I don't know. I'm going to test it out when I have redone the edge and profile it like I want it to be. Because right now, out of the box, or how you call it, with this edge, how it came, yeah, it was really sharp. You can slice paper really easy. But going out here, doing my thing, it didn't hold up. So there we go guys, a small test demonstration of the Swamp Romper, very light batoning, some small fire making, and yeah, a few feathers sticking. The conclusion, I had hoped this knife was a bit better, <laughs> because I really like the feel of the knife, I really liked when it came really sharp, but I was a bit, bit unsure about the edge and the grind then they went with because as I have showed you on my unboxing it's very thin it has like a Scandinavian grind but not a really Scandinavian so they have done the edge really thin and what did happen yeah the edge rolled with very light batoning and I know you guys that will say to me you shouldn't baton with your knife but I have baton with very many knives well, well, I'm no expert on all the knives, but the knives I've got, I have used exactly the same way, but a few of the knives I really abused really hard and never had an edge problem like this. So, I don't know, what do you think, guys? So, should it be like this? The little use I made of it. I hope you can see that guys so yeah some minor edge problem nothing I can't fix and yeah the sheath is great nothing to complain there I like it so much as so I use it for another knife but the knife could be a bit better. Use it as a slicer, food prep, very light crafting in wood or feather making, but don't baton with your knife. <laughs> That's my recommendation on this knife. Don't use it for batoning. I think if I would use this knife as I used, for example, my bush lore, oh man, it will roll like a paper, I think. That's all because of the grind. Two thin for its own good sorry so I hope you liked this small test review of this swamp romper listening to the name swamp romper I thought the knife would be a bit tougher but wasn't so hope you enjoy guys give me the thumbs up don't miss out go outside do your thing and I'll see you on my next video